Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Run! Welcome back to our next indie horror game. Closing time. Night Shift. Um, this game was requested of me in a comment left on one of my other videos. And if one of my subscribers tells me they want specifically want me to play something that they want to see, I'm obviously going to do it because, you know, that's why I'm here. So, um, Artificial Menace, here we go with your requested playthrough of Closing Time, Night Shift. I was around 21 at the time. I was in desperate need of a job so I was ready to take whatever I could get. The second I saw the ad in the paper, I didn't give it a second thought. It was easy money working the night shift by myself. The only downside was my anxiety. Being all alone was terrifying. I had no idea what I was so afraid of. That was until my boss called. Alright, what are we working in here? Supermarket? Nope, looks like a restaurant. Yeah, it's a restaurant. Oh my god. Trash. Cans. Cigarette butts all over the floor. That electrical panel looks like an absolute death trap. <laughs> the cover's all rusted through. What we got here? Freezer. Just unwrapped burgers, just sitting in a box. I'm sure, that's sanitary. Build your burger here. Place the patty. Put the buns on it. Serve the order. Don't you mean put the patty on the bun? All right, sure. Those are huge hamburger buns. Holy God! The size of those monsters. Alright, I guess this is the boss calling here. Hey, uh, just wanted to call and let you know you can go ahead and close up a little early. You've had a great first week, so I don't want to overwork you until you run off, like the last one did. <laughs> Speaking of him, no one's seen him in the past few weeks. Well, maybe he's on vacation. Sure hope so, but anyways, help yourself to a burger after you finish up. It's on the house. Thank God, I can leave early. Night shifts are really starting to get to me. I need to clean up before I leave, though. Place is a mess. Yeah, that might be putting it lightly. I think I'm gonna start with those tables. This restaurant, I've, I've seen nothing but the back area here so far, and I would absolutely, this place is absolutely gross. There's Cigarette butts and trash everywhere. That looks like a makeshift electric chair attached to a wall. I don't even want to touch that. The burgers are just sitting unwrapped in the freezer. There's literally black mold just dripping down the walls here. Oh, God. What is this? I'm not supposed to be writing in the logbook, but Mr. Moran won't answer the phone. I'm starting to get anxious, and I need something to keep my mind busy until I can close up. I keep getting calls telling me to come outside. They started a few hours ago, and the phone won't stop ringing. I hope someone stops to eat. I don't feel safe alone. That must be from the previous employee who has vanished into the back room somewhere. What the hell?
some sort of weird old horror movie playing on the TV here. Only three frames of it, though. Huh. Alright, take the dirty plates off the tables. What is that? Always watching. If you don't work, we will make you. <laughs> uh, more trash, more cigarette butts. Shit spilled everywhere. Here we go. All right, collecting all the plates. Aw. That's adorable. Can I just, can we just stand here and squeeze this thing so the creepy shit never happens? Once more. There we go, all right. We got a newspaper over there. Can I read that? Another mysterious Oklahoma disappearance occurred at <laughs> Roman Nose State Park <laughs> near Romeo's Diner. Local authorities have disclosed no evidence or findings, leading many to wonder what happened. The victim, Chris Chandler, worked at Romeo's for many months prior to his disappearance. Detectives investigating his case report that he might have possibly ran away due to underlying reasons but friends and family continue to fear the worst. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, authorities encourage you to call 555-444-999 with any tips you may have. The search will continue, and the family would like to express thanks to all involved in his search. Huh. I want to, okay, I, I want to work for this manager. I do, because his his... His employees disappear for weeks at a time to the degree that police presence and search parties have to get involved, and he's just like, maybe he's just on vacation. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Manager, sir. That guy is dead. We're going to find him in the parking lot, or in the basement, or in the shed, or in the trash dumpster. He might be in the burgers. I mean, there's really no way to tell. But that guy is... That brother is no longer with us. I guarantee that right now. Okay. Let's get these bad boys clean. What's this? Holy shit! Big burger, $50. Regular burger, still $50. Small fry, $70. Medium fry, $100. Large fry, this month's paycheck. $10 for a drink, $5 for a medium drink. <laughs> combos, there are no combos. Holy shit. Good grief. And still people are eating here. <laughs> What what is what what is that for a, a a regular burger, a medium fry, and a large drink would be almost two hundred dollars. <laughs> I could feed three people at a decent steakhouse for less than that. Holy shit! Those better be some damn fine burgers, buddy. Where's the sink? There we go. Can't wash dishes without water. No, you can't. There we go. See, the water is just pouring onto the divider in the sink, but it's just... Alright. The water's also not moving. It's just... It was just a solid... bar of water. <laughs> Time to get scrubbing. <laughs> not not gonna put soap on it. I'm just gonna... Just gonna... You, just gonna scrub them in plain ass water. That's not how washing dishes works, Buster. Oh, it just wants me to. I was trying to actually make the motion with the mouse to 
It just wants me to click. Okay. Oh, somebody's banging on the door out there. Oh, I was gonna go look, but it just gave me the next plate instead. Take trash out to the dumpster. Whoa. Uh, control your breathing. What do you want me to do? Oh, uh, okay. So we hold it until it gets in between the brackets for exhale and then let it go. And then re inhale when it's back between the inhale brackets. Okay. I'm just anxious. There's nothing there. Uh, no. No. That's. No. Bullshit. There was totally something. I mean, I didn't see it real well. It looked. It was solid black, but it was shaped like a person. Watch, we're gonna. Is this the trash? It's no trash can. It's just a bag. <laughs> You'd think for $150 per not combo, the guy could afford an actual trash can, but. All right, where's the dumpster? Here we go. Okay. Random newspaper just came flying out of nowhere. Dead body found. Chris Chandler was finally found after a week-long manhunt. His remains were discovered in the woods and dismembered. He was only identifiable through numerous DNA tests. His cause of death is still unknown. Uh, his cause of death is probably, you know, being dismembered. Cutting a person into pieces does tend to, you know, stop the process of being alive. Deputy Wilkinson said it looked like a bear attack, but there aren't any bears out here. Our deepest condolences go out to his friends and family. And you chose an absolutely awful picture to be the last photo taken of him. Hold on. I just read a paper that was also from today, because I'm assuming today is Friday, because, you know, this one just showed up, and it's marked for Friday. But the other one inside was marked for Friday. So in that one, they hadn't found him. But in this one, they have already found him and did you know, piles of DNA tests on him to figure out who he was and made a statement about it. There's, that timeline doesn't add up. There's not enough time for them to have, like... They didn't know where he was when they printed the first paper, but now they found him, transported his parts somewhere, and numerously DNA tested him and figured out who he was and had time to print this article in the paper and deliver it to me <laughs> all right sure oh phone's ringing again one more squeeze on the cute little zebra there hello this is the delivery guy with the patties i'm almost there so let me know when you're ready to bring me in uh, i can give you a hand uh bye Nice. Now I have to wait even longer before I can leave. If I'm here too long, I'm probably going to end up like the dude in the paper. Probably, yeah. I think I'll make that burger the boss offered now. Might ease my nerves. Grab a patty from the freezer. Okay. Gross. Yeah, gross is right. I don't want to eat that. That looks absolutely rotten as shit. Ugh. Hopefully these patties aren't bad. Well, enjoy your food poisoning, because that looked fucking disgusting. This is 
just gonna snatch it off the grill with your bare hands. <laughs> Build the burger at the assembly board. All right. <laughs> Junk. My God. Why don't you just put a hockey puck on one of those bonds? That's what it sounded like. That's what it looks like. Especially since you overcooked the shit out of it. Alright. Put ketchup and mustard on your burger. <laughs> Gross. Not the ketchup and the mustard. Why? Can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. I can't imagine being hungry enough that you're excited for that nasty looking shit. Oh, burger guy's here. Delivery guys here already. Guess the burger will have to wait. Uh, that's probably the universe doing you a favor. It's telling you not to eat that nasty shit. I should probably help the patty guy with the boxes. Okay. Here we go. Creepy ass music there when I picked that box of burgers up. Or creepy sound. It wasn't really music. I guess he's not going to help me after all, lazy bastard. On the phone he was all like, I'll give you a hand, and then now he's just sitting in the truck on his fucking rear end, watching me drag this shit inside. It's alright buddy, you just sit in there, don't get up. Wouldn't want you to strain yourself. <sighs> oh shit. Oh god. I don't even know what that's saying. I don't think I imagined it, but it totally looked like something walked past there just then. Oh, there's the phone again. Who is this now? It's me. It's me. Everyone thinks I'm dead. I'm still alive. I'm what? still alive. What? Just come outside. I'm still alive. Oh God! Come outside. Please come outside. I'm still alive. It's just so. Bark. 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 Uh, you're not alive, Mr. Dead former employee, sir. And I don't want to play with you because you sound like a goddamn demon. No, thank you. We're gonna sweep the floor instead. There we go. <laughs> the trash just evaporates into clouds of dust. Cans and all, just poof, gone.
Oh, those two more piles back here. All right, forgot about those. Put the broom back. All right. That should be everything. Time to head home. Everything? What are you talking about? There, are, There's trash on the tables. There's goop slopped all over the floor. The tables have mug stains on them. The grill's still on. And this guy's just like, well, done cleaning. Time to go. You didn't even eat your nasty burger, man. Oh, okay. Well, let's just leave. We're probably going to get fired, although if whatever happened to the guy before this is any indication, that's probably a good thing. These doors locked from the inside. Why can't I open them? Because the monster doesn't want you to leave. That's why. Something isn't right. <laughs> fuck. 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 Yeah. You probably are, indeed that. Before I work myself up even more, maybe I should try the breaker. Maybe that's how this ends. Maybe we just go back there and try to turn the breaker on and get electrocuted to death because the breaker was installed, you know, five to ten minutes before Jesus got off the cross and we're just going to get cooked right now. Oh, here we go. Time to ride the lightning. Nope. It's not the breaker. No, it's not. It's the... What the fuck? Alright. That was creepy as shit. That... It was just the... It was just the... The jerky head motions and the eyes rolling in his face, like, hide. Hide where? What? Okay. In the freezer, I guess. Where else are we gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Victim couldn't keep quiet. <laughs> Ending one of two. Another disappearance. This game was made by a dead person. Fantastic. Thank you for playing. Uh, alright, so... We're gonna do that again, really quick. Um, it doesn't look like there's an option to go back to the menu, so... We're gonna go ahead and relaunch that. that again real quick and I'm gonna shut up when we get in the freezer this time it said stay quiet and I just kept talking like a big dum-dum and got us killed <laughs> can I skip this yeah nope Shouldn't take me that long to run right back up to that point. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Hey, uh, just wanted to call and let you know you can go ahead and close up a little early. You've had a great first week, so I don't want to overwork you until you run off, like the last one did. Speaking of him, no one's seen him in the past few weeks. Well, maybe he's on vacation. Sure hope so, but anyways, help yourself to a burger after you finish up. It's on the house.
Uh, I can't do anything before it prompts me. I'm trying to get to that point as fast as possible, but... I am, however, going to take this opportunity to do that a couple more times. This is totally my fault. Like, it was flashing on the screen. Stay quiet. I didn't realize it had... The game had a, uh, a microphone detection system. <laughs> I just keep talking. Get us murdered. Well, maybe this time when I turn around, we can get a better look, well, at whatever duck behind the counter, but... You know, if it was already in here, as it clearly is, why did it wait all the way to the end to, to come in and get aggressive? Plot armor, I guess. Got to draw out the playtime. We can't have the, you know, have it ending too fast. Got to build the suspense up and shit, you know. All right. Hello? This is the delivery guy with the package. I'm almost there, so let me know when you're ready to bring me in. Uh, I can give you a hand. Uh, bye. You know, he called it gross when he picked it up, but then, like, two seconds later, after he cooked the fucking face off of it, and squeezed mustard and ketchup all over the top of the bun because he doesn't know how condiments are supposed to work, he was like, I can't wait to eat this!
I don't know how the delivery guy sitting in the truck didn't see that thing run right in front of him. Also, how does the manager not know what happened to the missing employee? Like, there are literally newspapers laying everywhere that are like, employees missing, employees disappeared, search parties, search parties can't find shit. Oh, never mind, we found him chopped to bits in the woods, and the manager's like, maybe he's on vacation. Oh, he's on vacation, all right. Yeah, that great big fast food shithole in the sky. That's where he went. Uh, I didn't notice this the first time. Okay. I retract my previous statement about the the guy being lazy. I totally did not. I didn't see this the first time, but the, it appears the delivery guy has been very effectively murderized. Now I, now I feel bad for calling him a lazy asshole. It's me. It's me. Everyone thinks I'm dead. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Just come outside. I'm still alive. Come outside. Please come outside. I'm still alive. It's just so... You listen to that, and your instinct is like, go get the broom. Gotta keep cleaning. <laughs> no. That is quitting your job time, right there. Actually, I probably would have done it before now, but... Squeeze. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get in the freezer and shut the fuck up this time.
What? It's telling me to run, but it killed me. I don't, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense, because I didn't make any noise at all. And it had clearly already transitioned into, you know, it's time to stop hiding and run for the car mode, but it killed me anyway and gave me the bad ending again. All right. Well, let's try it once more, I guess. That happens again. We're going to give up on the good ending, though. Hey, uh, just wanted to call and let you know you can go ahead and close up a little early. You've had a great first week, so I don't want to overwork you until you run off like the last one did. Speaking of him, no one's seen him in the past few weeks. Well, maybe he's on vacation. Sure hope so. But anyways, help yourself to a burger after you finish up. It's on the house. I have to do that. It's just required. Uh. All right. Go scrub the dishes one more time.
now the uh, the objectives didn't update. Oh, we have to read that newspaper for it to trigger that phone call. Okay. Hello? This is the delivery guy with the patties. I'm almost there, so let me know when you're ready to bring me in. Uh, I can give you a hand. Uh, bye. Should probably help the patty guy with the boxes. The patty guy doesn't need help with the boxes because the patty guy is agrees he's staying on the parking lot right now. Wait on him, stop yapping so we can pick the broom up. See if we can not mess this up this time. I don't. I don't think I messed it up the second time, unless I messed up the breathing thing and didn't realize it. But
Alright, there we go. I need to get out of here. You you needed to get out of here a long time ago, but <laughs> run is our only instruction. Okay. Well, we went past the shit. Oh, we made it. I thought we got caught. Okay, because I ran past the door. Oh, it's coming. Click. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. God, is that an alien? It's, it's head is shaped like an alien, but... I don't think it's supposed to be an alien. Okay, we made it. Okay. We, we made it out. Woo! I don't fully understand how I survived that night. I guess I just got lucky. Regardless, I called in the next morning and quit. Yes, <laughs> you'd be stupid if you didn't. I know exactly what happened to the guy in the paper now. I can't even imagine what he went through. Ending two of two, a narrow escape. Okay, well, Sorry that took an extra try to get out of that, but <laughs> that was a uh, that was actually pretty creepy. Very simple, very simple, and you know, simply done. I mean, the monster is, is it's very basic looking. It's just a black face with huge white eyes, but the way its head jerks and its eyes roll is super unsettling. Like, and you you put a microphone detection system in it, like. I mean, that's still not super common. Like, all the fears to Fathom Games did it. And, I, I know, I you know, there have been others, but I haven't, I haven't played very many games that, you know, actually use that system. I'm sure there are a lot, but I didn't expect that game to have one, is what I'm saying. But that, that was pretty good. Multiple endings, microphone detection, creepy-ass monster. He even had a bit of a sense of humor about it in a lot of places, which is always good. So, thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. I enjoyed that. That was very good. And I hope the uh, I hope the person that requested this playthrough also enjoyed that, despite the fact that I messed it up. I mean, an extra time. You know, we would have had to have died once to get both endings, but... Sorry, I somehow goofed it up the second time, so we had to do it three times instead of twice, but... Whatever. But, there you go. That's closing time, night shift. Link for that is in the description. If you want to check that out for yourself. Thank you for watching. As always, always appreciated.
Like that if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.